Since its inception in 1968, the NATO Sea Sparrow Project has had one pursuit, perfecting anti-ship missile defense capabilities through continued technology improvement. So our 12 countries that work in this uh, NATO Sea Sparrow Consortium, they work together and we design and we produce and we uh, support missile systems for those 12 countries. And today at our NATO Sea Sparrow Performance Assessment Working Group, we're trying to identify how good we're doing. For 50 years, this project has delivered on its mission to provide navies with an effective self-defense capability against some of their most serious threats. Telemetry is the data that we collect off of a flying missile or a flying target, and we use receivers to, to, to get that data as it's being projected out of the missile as it flies. It tells us what is happening inside of the missile as it's flying, as it's seeing things, as it's making decisions. Well, today is uh, day two of the NESBOG meeting that we're hosting here in Corona. We are tasked with evaluating the flight tests on whether or not it was a success or a failure. So we're, we're here to get the truth across on the actual performance and ensure that all the participating navies understand what they have for a weapon system. It's crucial for our navies to aim for the highest performances. So these groups help us evaluate and give that feedback so that we can always accelerate towards you know, better performance. So each nation is able to try to share some of their successes and failures with all the other nations and we can all learn from each other's experiences. Working together within NATO, within different alliances is, is paramount. Even if you're really big and strong like the United States, working with your allies makes sure that we can all work together both economically, diplomatically and militarily. So doing this together makes we learn from each other and we can, we can improve together. And that means we can make a fist stronger where we need to.